Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, pupils of Falkirk High School. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to this year's annual Junior Prize Giving Ceremony, which is taking place virtually due to the ongoing restrictions. Tonight continues to be a very special night in the school calendar, despite the current circumstances and restrictions upon which we are all living in. Whilst we cannot come together as a school community in the traditional forum, our virtual prize giving ceremony provides us with an opportunity to recognise and celebrate many achievements and successes of our young people during session 2021. It also provides an opportunity to celebrate the significant contribution made by our staff, parents and carers in ensuring that our pupils are still able to fulfil their full potential. Tonight we are delighted we can still recognise a range of achievements. However, as I'm sure you'll all understand, there have been several events and experiences which have not gone ahead as planned this session. All pupils receiving an award tonight can be very proud of their efforts. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted hugely on young people across Scotland and beyond, with much of the impact being negative with respect to our young people's educational experience. Falkirk High School, however, is very proud of the resilience, commitment and adaptability that their pupils have demonstrated during the most challenging of times and believes that tonight's celebration is testament to a school community who continue to focus on being the best that we can be. We will hear from our junior captains, Holly Howland and Samuel Poland, this evening, who have continued to fulfil their role this year despite the challenges they have faced. What you will see is two fantastic role models for our younger pupils to follow. Whilst they have not quite experienced the full range of experiences in their role this year, they have been super creative along with the rest of the team and have embraced every task and challenge with enthusiasm and dedication. In the most difficult of times throughout the last year, the school community has required positivity and hope. We are proud that this year's Pupil Junior Management Team have provided this to the school community and beyond. They have been a credit to themselves, the school and their families. Holly and Samuel will reflect on their time as junior captains later tonight and I look forward to hearing from them. The school is passionate about recognising and celebrating the success of our young people and whilst this evening provides a formal opportunity to do so, we also celebrate success on a daily basis through initiatives such as Well Done Wednesday and our use of social media. We continually strive to have a school community where the celebration of success is central to our ethos and hope that our pupils will continue to take great pride in sharing their achievements. I wish you all a very pleasant evening and hope you enjoy tonight's virtual ceremony. We are sorry that we can't be together as a community, but hope you enjoy this alternative approach. I would now like to invite our head teacher, Mr Kelly, to reflect on session 2021. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all our young people in S1 to S3. It gives me great pleasure as the head teacher of Falkirk High School to be making my inaugural address to you this evening and contributing to this celebration of achievement and success of our pupils. Last year I made this address as the acting head teacher of Falkirk High School, but following my appointment in January, I am delighted and very humbled to be making my first address to you as the substantive head teacher of Falkirk High School, albeit over a virtual platform. It is as all things seem to be these days a little different, as our prize giving is required to be a virtual version of what is arguably one of the most pleasing events in our school calendar. With prize giving upon us, it reminds us that we are fast approaching the end of an incredibly challenging session. One, dare I say it, even more challenging than last session. As we started the session, our hope was that things would settle back to as close to normal as possible when we returned to face-to-face -face learning in August last year. However, as we all know, we had to face further disruption after the Christmas holidays with another lockdown situation and the very significant challenges it brought to all our pupils, parents and staff. This was indeed a challenging time for all associated with the Falkirk High School community. I'm sure, like me, you would have had that sinking feeling in your stomach when you heard about the extension to lockdown, wondering when restrictions would end and when we could see family and friends again, wondering how we would manage. Most recently, our short move to remote learning 
was also unforeseen and a concern to the whole community. But we have made it safely through to the end of this term, through an incredibly difficult time. So how did we manage? In January, I took assemblies for our pupils and I spoke to them all um, about the Charlie Mackesy book. Um, many of you may know about that book and have your own copy. It's called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. And it's a story of friendship between the four main characters in the book, um, drawing, I suppose, simple thoughts that convey kindness, compassion and understanding. The pupils will recall that I spoke to them about one of the illustrations in the book, where the friends were looking into a dense wooded area with no clear path. The boy can't see a way through as the way ahead looks unclear. Can you see your next step, says the horse. Yes, answers the boy. Just take that, says his friend, the horse. The message is clear. Even when things are uncertain, we can only look at the immediate step in front of us, taking one step at a time with the help and support of those around you. Over the course of the session, this has been our experience. But with support and help from those around us, we have been able to manage. This support has been provided in many forms. We have had a significant focus on mental health and well-being, much of this led by our pupils. We have launched a new pupil wellbeing website, Instagram account, Twitter account that constantly provides support and encouragement to our pupils. We have tried to encourage and support others with the fantastic Lockdown Laughs initiative involving pupils, staff and freezing cold buckets of water. This in turn resulted in our S3 pupils Holly and Tamsin being interviewed on Central FM and a fantastic sum of £765 being raised for FADAM. We continue to support each other and the community through our Inside Out Day, Time to Talk Day and Kindness Day. Most recently, the staff have continued to promote wellbeing through the FHS Masked Singer, for which I would like to apologise at this point for my own very strained effort. These have been good times to share and laugh and are the types of activities that have pulled us together as a community, emphasising our Twitter hashtag, we are FHS. These are what I would call COVID keepers and must be lessons for us to hold on to as we move forwards. Looking back, it's important to ensure we recognise and capture learning, successes and achievements, but looking forward, it's essential we focus on our next steps as we seek to progress and improve. So looking forward, we have exciting plans for our pupils next session and we'll be launching relationships and reconnection programmes, our new Pupil Leadership Academy and the Rights Respecting School Initiative. Respect and ambition are part of Falkirk High School values and ones that we consistently promote within the school. The values of respect and ambition are very important but reduced to the simplest level, which is often the best, means work hard and be kind. That is my message to all pupils this evening. Work hard and be kind. I'd like to take a moment to pay tribute to the staff in the school. I would like to personally thank them for the way they have dedicated and been dedicated to our young people over the session but particularly for the way they have shown their ability to constantly adapt and um, be creative in their efforts to engage your pupils over the various digital platforms. With regards to staff, a uh, special mention must go to Sandra Williamson in our Home Economics Department. Sandra retires at the end of term after 32 years service to the school, which is a tremendous achievement. We give her our thanks and wish her a long, healthy and happy retirement. I would also like to take a moment just to thank our probationer teachers and the other temporary staff who will be moving on at the end of the session. Your contribution has been greatly appreciated. This year I would like to pay tribute to all of our young people at this prize giving. As we 
remember the fantastic achievements of every single pupil over the most challenging of school years. As well as our individual prize winners, I would like to recognise all pupils for their collective efforts in doing everything that you can and you could do to help us through this session. Your compliance with rules, regulations, one-way systems, um, working hard and adapting to a very challenging situation. Um, every pupil in this school has contributed and I would like to thank you. You hopefully will see an image on the screen which is our school badge. Um, looking closer at that badge, it bears the names of every single one of our pupils, emphasising the important part that you all play within this community and emphasising the fact that we are all Falkirk High School. So, to our prize winners, I would like to say congratulations and well done. You should be proud of yourselves and no doubt you have made your families and your teachers extremely proud. You are all stars and I hope that whatever it is you do next, you build on your successes of last session and get a taste for celebrating achievement that will stay with you for the rest of your lives. Finally, there is no doubt that these have been challenging times and there will be more times when the pathway ahead is unclear. However, my promise to you is that despite all the challenges we face, we will strive to continually improve the educational provision in Falkirk High School. We will be absolutely committed to providing a safe and stimulating learning environment based on positive relationships, aiming to give our young people the best possible chance to thrive in their future lives. We will continue to emphasise our key messages of working hard to the best of our ability and treating each other with respect, kindness, regardless of our position or status. Well done again to all our pupils and I hope you enjoy the presentation this evening. Thank you. I would now like to introduce the hugely talented Sophie Duncan from S3 to provide you with a musical piece on her cello. <laughs> Beautiful performance, Sophie. Well done and thank you. Next in the programme tonight is our fantastic junior school captains, Holly and Samuel. They will share with you their experience of this year from a pupil perspective. Before I hand over to them, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank them again, personally, for all their work this year. They have been incredible captains who have, without a doubt, made Falkirk High School a better place to be, even amid a global pandemic. Well done again to Holly, Samuel and their team. Hi everyone, I am Samuel. And I'm Holly. And we are the junior captains of the Pupil Junior Management Team, session 2020 to 2021. It is an honour to be here to recognise your achievements and celebrate with you today. Everyone receiving a reward tonight has strived to do their very best and deserve the praise that I believe represents the true spirit of our school, especially after one difficult and challenging year for us all. Who would have thought that there would have been a return from remote learning and having most of our school term spent at home? But through it all, as a school, we've came out unbroken in compassion, love, kindness and community. We're so grateful to be a part of the family here at FHS. 
This is the time to give special mention and appreciation to our staff and pupils who have put in amazing efforts this year despite the circumstances. We are also proud of everyone. We are both here to talk about our experiences, reflecting upon our year and the opportunities we have grasped as captains. But we are also here to give advice to the junior school in seeking opportunity. When I joined Falkirk High, I was quite introverted and shy. My anxiety eliminated a lot of opportunity and I kept to myself. However, the phenomenal teachers here saw my potential and believed in me when I had no self-confidence and no self-worth. Miss Gray and Mr Davies especially. They supported, helped and encouraged me from the start and I don't know where I'd be without their continuous support. From giving me reassurance and encouraging me to step out with my comfort zone, I found that sense of belonging at school and sense of importance as school became my happy place. It just shows how far support and encouragement from others can take you. I can now say that I'm a competent individual. When the applications for PGMT came out, I jumped to the opportunity to be involved and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I was lucky enough to be captain and lead an amazing team. And we've all grown as a team, learning along the way and been able to achieve so much despite the current climate. This past year, we've had three aims to bring together our school community, focus on the needs of the junior school and our wider community, as well as constantly improving FHS. We led a successful anti-bullying week and introduced a phone freeze. From our aim of raising awareness of mental health during during lockdown, we raised over £700 for FADAM, a local mental health charity, through our Locks and Laughs initiative to spread cheer and create that sense of community whilst being stuck at home. We also introduced online extracurricular clubs to enable our talented pupils to continue with their clubs, but also give them something to look forward for. Our team organised litter picks within our community to contribute to cleaning up our environment. We've also helped raise the profile of family learning within school and recruit staff for our fabulous Falkirk High School team. It has been an amazing opportunity and I was so blessed to work with such a great group of people. I couldn't be more proud of what we've accomplished. What I've taken from my role as captain is to tackle each task with passion, commitment, integrity and humility. This last year has been a terrible year. With the lockdown, online learning, social distancing, freezing classrooms and ma wearing masks. But fortunately, my PGMT journey has been unbelievable. During lockdown, I struggled with feeling disconnected within the Falkirk High School community. I'd always wanted to strive for more and help make the school an enjoyable environment for pupils and teachers to grow. Fortunately, I was faced with an amazing opportunity by which I could work with like-minded people. People who wanted to do the very best for Falkirk Kai and people who wanted the very best for Falkirk Kai. And that is the Pupil Junior Management Team. The PGMT has offered me so much more than what I could have ever wished for. Being part of the PGMT, I have loved to see all the determined and highly motivated pupils, especially in the junior school. We have been so fortunate to be part of the S2's I Can Leadership Programme and been able to see amazing responses from Miss Campbell's Family Learning Initiative. We have especially loved being hosts of the incredibly popular FHS Masked Singer, which is all thanks to Miss Gray. We didn't know that there are so many talented and, well, not so talented teacher singers. Who can ever forget about the clock singer? Although I am still trying desperately to forget about the clock singer. And what about tennis ball? Or should I say, the tennis 4 over 3 pi are cute. Being a part of the Pupil Junior Management team has enabled us to develop our 21st century skills. We have developed five important skills which are called our PGMT 5 Cs. Our first C is the skill of communication, where we've all learned to communicate effectively through discussion and the written form. Our second C is collaboration, which is essential for effective teamwork. Our third C is critical thinking, as we are all given tasks and problems which we as a team had to look at critically and find solutions to improve, implement and develop strategies across the school. Being a part of the PGM team means we must demonstrate our fourth C, which is creativity, as we always had to think outside the box and come up with creative solutions. And finally, we have developed curiosity, as we have always said, I wonder what would happen if we did this.
Therefore, being a part of the PGMT means that you're developing skills which will help you in any aspect of life, but especially in a 21st century workplace. PGMT has opened up so many doors for us. We have made lifelong friends, we have been gaining skills and accomplishing goals. But most importantly, the PGMT has given us a sense of importance and belonging. Although our time is over as junior captains, yours is just beginning. S1s and S2s, when your time comes to apply for the Pupil Junior Management Team, please consider going for it. I guarantee you will not regret it. There is so much to gain and so little to lose. If someone throws you an amazing opportunity but you're not sure if you should do it, just say yes because you can learn later how to do it. Success is about taking advantage of any opportunity, they say, as it will not come twice. Seize the moment. We urge you to step forward and discover your potential. We believe you can do it. During difficult times, we have come together as a school and risen to the challenge of becoming stronger, united and resilient to take on new challenges and embrace the exciting future of FHS. We appreciate you taking your time to listen and we hope you all have a great holiday. Thank you Holly and Samuel. A fantastic speech to share your experiences of this year with the school community. There is no doubt that you will continue to be successful in the rest of your time at Falkirk High School and will contribute positively to our school ethos moving forward. Well done again. It's now time for another musical performance tonight. Please welcome another hugely talented pupil, Sosha Minto, to play a musical piece on the piano. Another fantastic performance. Well done and thank you, Sorsha. And now to the moment you have all been waiting for, as the young people step into the spotlight to receive their very well-deserved awards. Tonight's awards would normally have been presented by Mr Kelly. Unfortunately, we have been unable to do this due to the ongoing restrictions. But prize winners should be aware that Mr Kelly knows about the success of you all and whilst he cannot shake your hand and congratulate you in person on the stage, he is still, of course, very proud of you all. Now is probably the right time to, t to let you all know that Miss Grey will, of course, be in touch with you regarding your prizes. You all know, as well as I do, that she loves to celebrate your achievements and she will endeavour to get you all before the end of the term, if it is possible. As in previous prize-giving ceremonies, we traditionally begin with the Achievement Awards. These awards are based on the school's three values, ready, responsible and respectful. To gain an achievement award, pupils are nominated by school staff and must receive several nominations across the whole school to be recognised with either a platinum, a gold, a silver or a bronze award. Everyone receiving an achievement award this evening should be very proud of their efforts. These awards are naturally given out in houses, therefore it was only fair to hear a few words from each of our heads of house beforehand. Let's hear what Mr Barton has to say first. Hi Campbell House, can I just say a massive congratulations to all of you who are receiving awards tonight. It's fantastic to see so many of you being recognised for the hard work that you've put in this year. 
Uh, and I think what's quite unique is that you're being recognised not just for the work you've done in school, but also for the hard work that you've done while we were on lockdown as well. Uh, to be able to be recognised for um, what, what you've done in a time where it was quite difficult, I think that says a lot about your character, says a lot about your personality, and says a lot about the, the attitude that you have towards your education, which is just fantastic. Uh, remember tonight you're being recognised for the fact that you have been ready to engage with the work, you've had everything you need uh, to get that done, that you've showed great respect uh, while you've been in school, while you've been working online, both in class, out of class, that's been recognised by a great number of staff, but also you've showed great responsibility, um, and not only for taking responsibility for your own education in school and out of school, but also for your behaviour, uh, for your timekeeping, and everything else that you have all done really well. Uh, I am immensely proud of every one of you. You thoroughly deserve the award you're getting tonight, uh, and I hope that this is the start of many awards for all of you who are here being represented by Campbell House tonight. Well done again. And now for the Achievement Awards for Campbell House. Well done to all Campbell Achievement Award winners. Next up is Mr Waddle, Head of Cameron House. Hello Cameron House, massive well done from me, obviously your new Head of House Mr Waddle here. Well, from what's been a really challenging year, you have shown resilience and whether it's working here or at home, you have continued to keep going and keep going. I'm incredibly proud of you, so well done on your achievements today, whether it be your hard work and effort, whether it be actually achieving particularly well in certain subjects or in sports um, out with uh, your classroom. Fantastic, congrats. Um, and I look forward to working really closely with you um, over the next wee while. Um, I also want to speak about being ready for school and that ties in with being ready uh, in order to then achieve. Um, getting your head in the right space um, for work is really, really key. And that comes down to preparing. So picturing what is going to happen that day and the subjects you've got. Being ahead of the game and doing your homework, bringing the correct materials to school, dressing appropriately with the school uniform um, and coming in with that right frame and uh, frame of mind and attitude. 
Um, whether it's PE, it's bringing in your kit, um, it's bringing your school bag, um, and it's bringing all the equipment that you need. Most importantly, it is being ready to work. Um, and so that is a key thing that I really want you to take forward um, into next year. And obviously, you guys that are achieving really, really well this year, you've already done that, so let's do that again, okay? Massive congrats from me. See you later and enjoy. And now for the Achievement Awards for Cameron House. Well done to all of our Cameron Achievement Award winners. Next up is Mrs McAllister, head of Mackay House, who I'm delighted to see back to full health and joining us before the session finishes. Hello and welcome to our virtual junior prize giving. My name is Mrs McAllister and I am the head of Mackay House. Firstly, can I just give a huge congratulations to all of the young people in Mackay House tonight who have been rewarded for their good behavior, their hard work and dedication. You're a shining example of a Falkirk High School pupil. You've done yourselves, your family, your carers, and the entire school community proud. And I am so pleased for each and every single one of you. On a personal level, it's quite upsetting for me that we're not able to all be there together in person to celebrate your achievements because it is one of my most favorite events on the school calendar. So please just take this then as my chance to say to you, very well done, keep up the hard work, you are all amazing. Now, the way that the nominations have come about from your teachers is thinking about the three R's being ready, being respectful, and being responsible. And I wanted to expand just a little bit on being respectful. So basically, folks, what we're talking about here 
is being in the school, Falkirk High School, in a place where everyone has the right to feel safe and to be accepted for who they are, no matter who they are. So what does that look like? Well, basically, we're talking about your manners here and being polite. We're talking about saying please and thank you, saying excuse me or holding the door for someone, the small things. We're talking about being considerate of other people's feelings and not saying hurtful or nasty things to try to get a rise out of them. It's like that old saying, think before you speak. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And I'm sure that you guys have all heard that time and time again. But that's really the basics of what we're talking about here. We want Falkirk High School to be a place where everyone is respected. And all of our winners tonight show those qualities all the time. So once again, from me, Mrs. McAllister, to all the Mackay pupils, and I guess to all the other ones as well, very well done. You guys are all superstars in my book. And now for the Mackay House Achievement Awards. to all of our Mackay Achievement Award winners. And finally, we have Mr Seal from Robertson House. Robertson House, I just wanted to take a moment to say a huge congratulations to all pupils who received nominations and awards at this year's Junior Prize Given. The last year or two has presented significant challenges to your time at Falkirk High, and these awards are recognition for all your hard work and your ability to remain focused throughout. As your head of house, I'm proud to see you get the reward that you deserve. Nominations for awards come from teachers, considering your approach to being ready, respectful and responsible. In particular, when you're being responsible, this shows that you've been willing to follow instructions, to concentrate fully, to look after and take care of equipment and resources. But most of all, you work hard, listen carefully and at all times do your best. Once again, well done for getting these awards and I'm sure it was worth it. And now for the Achievement Awards for Robertson House.
congratulations to all of the Robertson Achievement Award winners. That concludes the Achievement Awards. Please give everyone a virtual round of applause for their efforts over the course of the session. Thank you. We now have a number of special awards. Firstly is the Patron of Reading Prize awarded by our school librarian. The winner of this year's award has improved his reading significantly through simply working hard and being dedicated. This has allowed him to read a number of different books throughout the session. The winner of the Patron of Reading Prize is Keir Dowell. Congratulations to Keir. The next prize recognises significant improvements made in relation to the development of literacy skills. This young person has progressed exceptionally well over the course of the last year. The winner of the Closing the Gap for Literacy Awards is Rory Marshall. The next award is the Miss Clark Prize for Industry and Perseverance. The winner of this award has had a challenging year last session has come out of her side and has made significant improvements across her life during the session. The winner of the Miss Clark Prize for Industry and Perseverance is Marta Zakarowska. The next award is the Alec Easton Prize for people reaching their potential. The winner of this year's award is a pupil who has been supported throughout the school by the day. We are delighted to see this young man is now a regular attendant at school and is building confidence every day. The winner of the Alex Easton Prize for Young People Reaching Their Potential is Finlay Marshall. Next up, we have our Service Awards, where young people are recognised for serving the Falkirk High School community or school, reflecting their school motto. In Vikram Sarvit, translates to mean serve one another and these pupils have demonstrated that through the year. The Seniors a Service Award for being a digital leader in S1. We have Eva Hamchek, Tracy Innes, Marley Ann Malone in S2. We have Jake Bodle, Josh Wannon and Jamie Wood. So the Senior Service Award for being a star leader is David Craig, Morgan Dobie, Liam Johnson, James McDonald, Emily McKenzie and Hayley Williamson. The final set of service awards this evening go to our Pupil Junior Management Team. This team was created a number of years ago to offer leadership opportunities to pupils in the broad general education phase in response to pupil consultation about improving their school. The introduction of the team has been a huge success and has had a significant influence over school improvement in recent years. This session's group of 10 pupils have provided excellent role models for the younger pupils within Falkirk High School and have contributed significantly to the life of the school. Made up of two junior captains and eight house captains, we have adjusted to the most challenging of circumstances to deliver a number of key activities, events and furthermore have spread positivity across the school community. Particular highlights include the Lockdown Laughs Initiative, which raised £750 for the Dam, their involvement in Anti-Bullying Week, the promotion of mental health awareness across the school community, and support and participation in various events such as the Masked Singer. They have also represented the views of their peers throughout the session and have been fantastic ambassadors for our school and the local community. I'm proud to introduce our Pupil Junior Management Team Vice Captains for Session 2021. And they are Cameron Dick, Chloe Gallagher, Tamsin Gold, Rory Marshall, Frankie Rogers, Florence Sandround, Kate Sinclair, and Edwin Walker. Congratulations to all of our Vice Captains. Now moving on to our Junior School Captains, I would now like to introduce our Junior School Captains for Session 2021 who will re receive a special award in recognition of their role this year. I've already spoken about Holly and Samuel earlier on in tonight's ceremony, but once again I want to thank them for their huge contribution throughout the session. Both are fantastic young people 
who have helped to make a difficult year a little more positive for everyone that they have worked with. Ladies and gentlemen, our school captains for 2021 are Holly Howland and Samuel Colin. Congratulations to Holly and Samuel. At present, we are about to embark on our application process for the new Pupil Junior Management Team for Session 21-22. This is without doubt a fantastic opportunity for the young people in the junior school to grab with two hands and we believe whoever the team may be will carry on the excellent work of their peers from this session. S2 pupils should look out for details on the application process within PET and if they have any questions should contact Mr Watson. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes tonight's awards ceremony for the junior school. I would now like to invite Tamsin Gold, Chloe Gallagher and Frankie Rogers to conclude tonight's ceremony with a vote of thanks. Thank you very much and good night. Throughout this year, we as PJMT have tried our hardest to bring you guys, this to junior school, fun and exciting opportunities whilst trying to spread some happiness and cheer. It goes without saying that we could not have done this without the help of a few very special people. We would like to thank Mr Crow for editing together all of our videos as we know there's been a lot. We would also like to thank all of SMT, Mr Watson, Mrs McPherson, Mrs Whittington, Mr Mingus, Mrs Brady, Mrs McKnight and of course Mr Kelly. We couldn't have done this without Miss Logie who has supported us constantly. Thank you to Miss Gray for organising tonight and loads of fun other events throughout the year. Finally, one massive thank you to all the teachers and staff in Pocket High. This year hasn't been easy, but all of you have lifted our spirits and encouraged us to be our best daily. We cannot leave you today without addressing the pupils of the junior school. We would like to thank you for engaging in all of our activities and giving them all a go no matter what it was. You've all been amazing this year and have kept the Falkirk High community going through this tough year, which none of us would have expected. However your lockdown experiences were, you should all be so proud of yourselves as you've risen to the top and got through it. Thank you to everyone for listening and congratulations on all your awards. Now have a relaxing summer holiday. Everyone has earned it. <laughs>